My name is Paul Sather. I'm the head men's basketball coach at Northern State University. In all my years of coaching, very few times will you get a group that has this kind of camaraderie. I think it had a lot of qualities of a family where it's not perfect every day, but yet we love each other. From the staff to the players and everything in between, there was a great amount of respect with everybody. And I think that really translated in practice and out of the court. This team is special and unique for more than just being good players. Their work ethic was phenomenal. The job they did in the classroom was phenomenal, but they also do a terrific job in the community of Aberdeen. And I think that's what makes this a pretty special and unique place is you've got a university, you've got a community. And with our basketball program, I just think there was such a great connection. The atmosphere of Northern State basketball is, is fun every year because of the home court advantage we have here. We've led the country in attendance for the last 10 years. Now you move that to three hours away. The atmosphere in the Elite Eight tournament was like nothing you can even imagine. From a national championship stage, to have 95% of those people in that arena cheering for Northern State was an incredible, amazing feeling. And you felt like you had everybody supporting you. To get to experience that for our guys was something, you know, the, the games and winning the games were fun, but to have that kind of support, that's so much a part of the why this run that we had will never be forgotten was those crowds and that support and just how rowdy it got down there. This Elite Eight tournament was phenomenal and it just had so many different moments. I think everybody will remember that Queens game when you're down five with 20 seconds left and DJ Pollard gets fouled, makes two free throws and Gabe King gets that offensive board where he pass it out to Bo and Bo makes that extra pass over to DJ and he knocks it down. And you don't see that on that stage in that kind of setting in a semifinal game against a team like that. The celebration after that game and how excited we were and almost a surreal moment of, oh, is this really happening? We're going to be playing for a national championship. And when you lose the way we did, I think just knowing the finality of it, that was hard. So I think you get a memory of unreal emotions, the positives and the negatives, but they both are going to be something that are going to stick with all of us forever. I'm proud of this group of guys because at the end of the day, they were a great team for 40 games. They were a great team for an entire season. And they just kept competing, loving, and doing all they could to keep this season alive and keep this team alive. The hashtag not done yet was something that uh, I thought really captured the moment for that run because it was the whole community got behind it and it was just so much fun to see that enthusiasm. I just thought that slogan was something that fit perfect for those last three games. Thanks to the support of our fans, we're never done.